Nice job, Elsar. <laughs> That was a stubborn one for being such a little tree. Yeah. But let's go see what I miscalculated with that. All right, well, in this shot here, what I want to show is that originally I, I rigged the tree with my straps on the uh, left-hand side here with the uh, red circle around. And I found that, that uh, when we were pointing with a tractor, it just wasn't enough leverage to get that tree to pull over. So... What we did is we re-rigged the tree, once it was cut, higher into the tree where the green uh, band is. And that, with that, we were able to uh, use our wedges more successfully and then pull the tree down. The tree definitely wanted to go towards the garden. Well, hi everybody here we are it's like the middle of november 2023 and i'm over at my uh neighbor's uh backyard uh mr elzar and he's got a beautiful nice garden over here in his backyard he's got his uh, uh vegetable gardens he's got a couple of those going on he's got taro growing something called bitter melon all in here and all kinds of flowers but that tree over over right there, the one, the little tree with the leaves on it here, with the little hose at the bottom going up, is a tree that he'd like to remove. So what we're going to do today is uh, remove that tree. Now that tree, it's hard to tell, but it is leaning towards you know his garden area. So what I'm going to do is rig uh, the tractor up that I'm on today uh, to to pull the tree from the backside and then cut it and then fall it. So we'll see how that goes today. All right, so here we are. We're, we've got the uh, tractor uh, rigged up to the, uh, I've got three of these 20 foot cables here. And uh, I've got them hooked up to my bucket. I've got a clevis um, coupler here, one there. And I've wrapped around the tree up here too. So what we wanna do, this tree is actually leaning towards this garden areas. And the idea is that we're gonna cut uh right about here where my hand shadow is have the tree go back that way into the woods with the assistance of the tractor so we'll go have a go with that all right all right so one more thing i'm using my works uh this is a cordless chainsaw it's 40 volt it uses two uh 20 volt batteries and gets them up to 40 volts but this bar already originally came in a uh, 14 inch model i upgraded it to an 18 inch model and there is a way to uh to do that and i have another video on the channel that if you like to uh, see how that was done you can go take a look So what I've done here is I've taken a nice little wedge cut out of here and again the intention is to follow the tree in this general direction. So with that I'm going to uh, just make a little deeper deeper cut in here than ask Elzar over there to rev up the tractor and start backing up. So let, let's, let's have a go.
Okay, rev it up. Yeah, see it wants to go that way. Yeah. It is going that way. Um, i tell you what, let me go get my wedges. I have something called wedges. Nice job, Elsar. <laughs> that was a stubborn one for being such a little tree. Yeah. But let's go see what I miscalculated with that. The tree definitely wanted to go towards the garden. Oh yeah, they definitely helped. That's yeah. what saved us from going into the garden. Yeah, well that, that was a good way to recover, as you say. We were able to put it in here, get get the pressure off of this side, put it back over there, yeah. and the tractor helped push it over. Alright, so you're happy. We're going to do a little clean up here. That'll, that won't take long, but uh, that was it. Well, thanks everybody for, for watching, and this just goes to show, you know, you think you have a little baby job, and Next thing you know, you have a couple complications. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.